Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia and Spain. Here it is all about water. And now we have added windbreaks and shade to this menu of activities that we are taking part in. It's not easy but it's very rewarding and uh, it's a long-term project. We're getting used to these being patient long-term projects. Here in the creek I am digging two trenches. Luna's ear is not well. She turns her head all the time as if she says no. So it's cute to ask her something and she says no. Hello Luna. Huh? So this is uh, a meter wide and I key it into the side of this creek and I have picked this spot because I need to cross this creek with the excavator and it's not possible when it's really raining hard and a lot of water comes down here So this is one meter wide. Um, I will go, I won't go deeper. I'll just bring it down. Same that side. And here we have done the same. And now I am clearing in between to have this H shape. It's not that hard but because of all the gravel coming down this creek it's almost impossible to work with a shovel. So the pick is doing the work all the time. The main purpose of this is to get a crossing for the equipment during the rainy season. And then I started playing with the idea, what if I make it a solid wall and the water runs that way and that way. If I can get the water, water to meander more and it comes this way, I deepen this and it comes down this old canal that comes from the Kanat water system. then I can have an auxiliary re uh, uh, creek and the water can penetrate this whole area and it can run down there should it be a lot of water. I will have to get out the laser and see how the heights are working also depends how high I make the wall of that bridge. Perhaps I should not call it a bridge then, then it's more a dam wall. And bring the water this way. I can take this dirt and fill it up there. 
and let the water come down here. It's a very old canal system. There are rocks all along and then the water used to cross where there's a neighbor now and then the Romans had vegetable gardens in that area and they would supply vegetables to the wagons coming from Rio Tinto going to Lisbon with iron ore. I still find it difficult to think people will transport iron ore by wagon over such a distance but my human race is uh, crazy so uh, we do strange things same as I'm doing strange things here now this is the project the water diversion project to get the water to meander much more even if it just comes around here and it goes down here I will already be happy and then windbreak let's go up there this is a plant the Vachalia karu used to be called the Acacia Karoo from the Karoo semi-desert area in southern Africa. Then uh, the scientists divided these acacias into three families. Acacia in Australia, Vachalia in southern Africa and Senegalesa in uh, West Africa area so this is the Southern African Vachalia Karu they are now here two years the third summer they are mean but <laughs> I like them I am happy that they will, I have a few more planted here, that they will eventually be some shade and a windbreak for the hot air coming up here. Then I have my beloved clinch uh, yellow peaches here and um, now that I know what they are doing and what's happening on the farm this is our fourth he summer I slowly have an idea what to expect I will now plant tall trees. Um, I play with eucalyptus and every six tree I want one tall tree. Poplar but it's it requires a lot of water to establish but I will see. I want some tall trees that grow fast. Trees I can dispose of afterwards. So this is perfect. Some shade, but they also need shade. And this is what I have neglected in the past. But we can correct it and fortunately these canopy trees grow fast we also have um, some windbreaks on the fence 
around the house and this is the first here we have some fruit this vine is called Italia a uh, purpless fruit grape nice to make raisins from them we also have roses on the fence we also have granadilla passion fruit and uh, we try let's see which ones will stay the anti-plastic squad will be delighted to know I have removed the plastic here and also the logs I had there and also the stakes I planted in there if that bridge pond wall holds then much less water will torrent through here and then this might just survive on its own without the plastic so that was a good feeling so the Paulovnias they have done a very good job so far to supply shade and uh, they are champions for the short term there are a lot of things planted underneath it that really really take their time I mean it's quince fig and pomegranates there is a pine so water infiltration barring the hot dry wind the temperature today again will be 42 degrees Celsius what is that just over 100 Fahrenheit this is the third day there are two more days so five days in a row and the humidity of the air is 90 per 19 percent which is very low so we need these the shade we need the windbreak and we need to survive this I watered these plants that's why they look quite happy I watered them last night I water every third day for several hours and I'm trying that strategy this is the path we are on water retention windbreak from this hot dry air and then shade if we carry on doing this another few years we might have created a different environment and that will make us happy we are also happy now <laughs> we will be more happy another windbreak another place where I will plant fast growing canopy trees I have several uh, trees in here like the Almeth, the Hackberry, but it takes its time. Till next time, goodbye.